Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Total War Three Kingdoms. We are playing as Kong Rong, and this is part number 23. Got a lot of work to do. A lot of work to do. We've uh, established peace treaties. Last time we um, established a lot of peace treaties with, um, with our enemies. Uh, we're now only at war with one faction, uh, which will allow us to uh, sort of... Uh, focus our efforts in one direction however we still do have to be wary of um other factions so we got to be careful here we got to cut down our costs so there's a little bit of management that we need to do here think of the court um the dude who is the, is this the guy uh there is a guy I think this is the guy that we hired. Um, let me just see here. If we go to raise army, um, you uh, okay? Yi Chao. All right. So Yi Chao. Uh, let's. Uh, we'll release him from our services because we don't really need him. Oh, whoops. Um, court. So Yi Chao. Uh, we're gonna actually release you from our services, um, and that'll save us a little bit of money. Um, not a lot, but we we need to. This is ending next turn, uh, which and I'd like to keep all of the forces that we have in the field. So um, we just need to be a little bit careful about that. Now, something else I did want to do is um, we can. Do want an assignment? Son of a bitch! Oh, this guy is uh, he's currently a general. Son of a... Alright, alright, that's fine. Um, okay, so we can put him in here. Some from commerce. 75% income from commerce. So we're, we're getting a fair bit of commerce here. So let's put him in here. Um, and yeah, let's... Let's go with, um education program uh, to get that population growing as well and that should increase our income over here um, I kind of want to keep a little bit of a buffer um, in the in our Treasury um, I think it's probably a good idea considering we keep getting um, you know our enemies will typically come in and siege us somewhere that um, disrupts our trade and then we go bankrupt and, and then we end up suffering a lot of attrition over return and I want to try and avoid try and avoid that if we can um all right uh what else did I want to do management wise let's actually take a look I wanted to take a look at our characters here and just oh whoops see what we've got for for items, all that seems okay. Um, this gives more charge bonus. Uh, and we leave that as is. Uh, we do have some good. Ooh, we should give the white stallion to her. Oh, she's already got a white stallion. Actually, can we give a white stallion stallion to uh, to Kong Rong? All right, yeah, we'll give the white stallion to Kong Rong. Whip that. His authority up helps with satisfaction. And what happened? Prime Minister, air faction leader. Uh, this one actually would be really good. The scholar. 10% uh, character experience. Um, surprised I didn't have that one on there earlier. All right, yeah, that looks all good. Anything? We could give him this instead, but I think uh, I think this one is fine for the additional authority. All right, yeah, let's go through the list here. See what else uh, who else we've got. Uh, this dude. What do we got for armor for you? Plus 10 authority. Authority does what? Unit morale on retinue. This one gives expertise and authority. 
and gives a little bit of authority, a reduction in speed, but gives that charge bonus. Hmm. Hmm. Structures, dignified raiment, raiment of no. What does authority do? Is it more morale? I guess that's not really necessary. Unlock surplus markets, trade influence. That would actually be okay for her. What she got there? Hmm. Unlock surplus markets. What are what are surplus markets? Characters can be sent on assignments and commanders. Each assignment has its own set of bonuses that will be able to apply. Uh, thing is, the it's just getting additional authority right now, which is uh, helping out satisfaction. But that five percent trade influence would be nice. I don't know. I think I'm gonna leave it. And we'll we'll keep this one kind of in our, in our back pocket here. Uh this is a little bit better, so let's give him that. And that's all fine. Alright, who's next? Could give you that. Um all right, we'll give you give you that, and actually we should probably give you this one as well for the extra ammunition. Um, I think I'd rather uh actually that's helping with his um satisfaction. No, oh, actually, let's let's give him the bow. Equip that. Uh, you, sir. Instinct. All right, looks good. Looks good. All right. She. We already. All right. Yeah, that all looks good. Yeah, it's been a while since I went through all of this stuff. Oh man, what do we got here? Plus three authority. This this seems like the better option there. Yeah, gets the additional additional authority. Uh, a little bit of resolve. All right. Um, Calling wrong, everything looks good here. Oh, he can actually put on this armor, that's interesting. And her, our, under, our undercover spy is not too happy, but we can't, um, can't equip him with anything, right? And then this dude, uh, characters at court, this is the guy I believe that we just put in as um, expertise, expertise, that's what. All right, let's actually give you that. So reduce the construction cost. Um, hmm, actually, who should we give that to? Plus 20 charge bonus would be pretty good. Shoot, you know what? Hmm. That'll have to be okay. Um, I'm gonna equip this one. Authority. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So that horse. Um. Shun Yao. Should we give it to Shun Yao? This guy's level seven, 
And what is um Yeah, let's let's give it to him. Alright, good enough. Good enough, alright. There we go. Apologies for that guys that but it's long overdue that we did the uh the management there. Um we've got yellow turbans here once again. We need to get um we need to get Kong moving to the to the north. Um we want to uh get the attack on on uh on what's his face. We can only move to there. Uh we're at full strength, so we can force march. It's just a little bit dangerous if there's an army over here. We're kind of right. Right in the potential place where uh, they could be uh, hiding out. Um, put you in ambush there. Maybe we'll maybe we'll trigger an ambush if there is an army. Actually, it doesn't look like there's an army there. So we could cross here and take this. Um, but I kind of want to come down here and take this first. Is what I'm kind of thinking. Um. Cause yeah, and then and then we'll cross we'll cross over here and head for um, head for this. Um, yeah, it's a lot of work that we're gonna have to do with just the uh, just the one army for now, just one army in a bit basically. Um, do you have enough movement to? Is enough movement to make the attack? I'm gonna make the attack with you. They did, uh... Alright, so we're gonna delegate this one, um... Just because, uh, it should wipe them out completely. Oh my gosh, decapitation. I don't see that often. <laughs> <laughs> um, if it were, um... What do you call it? Uh, uh, Total War Attila, you, you see decapitated... Decapitation is like crazy in Total War Attila. Alright, so you boys start moving. Moving this way. We'll actually, yeah. We'll move that direction. Uh, we can't force march them unless we want to forgo the replenishment. Uh, though we probably get better replenishment sitting in the settlement here. What's the uh, population is pretty good. How many turns? God, he's a long ways off. But yeah, we'll we'll attack from from this side, take this, and then come up to this, and then maybe Kong Ron's army come up through this way and capture this. But yeah, Kong Sun Zam. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten settlements that we know of. Now I'm just debating whether I want to force march them or not. This guy's three turns till they're full there. Maybe all right, we'll just we'll just go normal march. It's not a yo, but um yeah, let's do that. Alright, increase the favor of Kong Rong from the action. This is up to seventy-two. Uh we're gonna have to uh bomb his or decrease his favor. Um we're gonna lose a lot of Imperial favor fighting him. But yeah, I'm thinking let's hold on to this cash because we might go into the negative here. Um, if we take a look at this, army upkeep 5.2k. So add an additional 30% to that. And we're, yeah, we'll be pretty, pretty close to broke, I think, next turn. And especially to summer, summer goes into what? It goes into, into harvest. And then, and then fall, and then winter. Is that the? I think that's the order of things. All right, yeah. So keep these two armies down here. Um, she needs to replenish anyway. Um, and we'll we'll keep this guy down here as well, um, just in case uh, we end up at war with um, with Sao Sao again. Uh, we at least have some forces ready to fend them off but i think the uh, the bulk of our forces are going to move move north and try and take on
Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Do you see this shit? <laughs> the coalition. Wow. Wow. They all want to invite Sao Sao into the coalition. This is unreal. Unreal. We were at war with him, and now we are. He's in the coalition. I mean, I could have rejected it, but that would have um, that would have potentially decreased our relations with the other factions in the coalition. If we get thrown out of the coalition, and then they subsequently declare war on us, we'll be in a world of pain. A world of pain. Uh, it's too bad we we weren't able to take more territory from Sao Sao before uh, before this has sort of gone down. <laughs> All right, looks like looks like uh, Gong Sun Zam is on the move there. Interesting. I don't know. It, it didn't look like Gong Sun Zen, or it didn't look like Sao Sao was part of the coalition, and we can't see his territory, so I don't know. Maybe it's waiting till next turn to update that. Don't know. Who are we inviting into opinion of Sao Sao? I don't know. I don't want to disagree with them, but it doesn't seem to be, for whatever reason, it doesn't seem to be working. Maybe because maybe they've invited Sao Sao and Sao Sao has rejected it because he uh, he doesn't like us. That uh, that is one of Gong Sun Zan's armies right there. Hmm. Yeah, and it's got another army there. What have we got here? Multi bolt crossbow. We've got an army right here. Looks like they're headed to Baha'i. Oh my god. Minus 791. It's worse than I thought. God damn it. Minus 791. Um. Yeah, so they didn't actually join the coalition. They are, um... They are quite... Quite liked by our, um, by our allies. Um, how big is this force? That, that force actually... Probably... The garrison would be able to take them on. Um, though I... Think them attacking this will disrupt our trade with um with Lube. That's part of the reason why I wanted to keep this uh balance of treasury. Um Wow that's a big army. Alright, yeah, so we don't have enough movement to get over there anyway. Ah, Shiza. Probably gonna cross over here. Is this being repaired? Doesn't look like it. Uh, maybe a little bit. Yeah, you know what? This one is repairing. I Maybe it only repairs one at a time. Xinhuai Zhong Zheng. Okay, that's that's not our army. Um, this guy's costing us three hundred and forty. His salary is four hundred and ninety. I believe that's because of uh, his court position, if I'm not mistaken. Oh wait, maybe not. Why is it costing so much? Okay. Salary upkeep. Um, I'm thinking. I'll 
Let's recall this retinue. This is a minus two sixty four. Um, Kong Rong, you keep moving on up here. A couple turns away. Yeah, I think these fuckers are going to come down here and disrupt our trade here. Um, I do want to continue over to here. I'm just wondering... Um, if we should uh, hold this guy back a little bit. To... Because if this uh, if this army attacks one of these settlements, we've got that. We'll want to sally out against them, and we'll need uh, we'll need this force to help. Though Kongrong is not too far away. Um, two more turns. Thinking actually, maybe we should force march. Just to get over here a little bit quicker. It sucks that we won't we don't get replenishment. But um yeah, we need him over here. Um how many turns before he's over here? He's almost there next turn. Thank you. All right, you know what? I'm going to keep this guy with the army. Um, we, we want we want to have cavalry support for this army because this army is pretty vulnerable without it. Um, we don't have a huge front line, and it's a lot of a uh, lot of archers there. Actually, force marching into there. Um, but yeah, wait and see what this guy does. We've got Kong Rong making his way up there. Uh, we're still a little bit heavy on our cash flow right now. Minus 264. Is there anything... Oh, we've only got seven food, too. I was going to say, is there anything we can do to get some uh, some cash coming in? Look at this. Our relations with Sao Sao are actually quite good. All right, we're giving them food. How much food are we giving them? That was for the uh, peace agreement. Hmm, diplomacy's costing us 331. We'd be, it would be even if it wasn't for the diplomacy. Um, negotiate. Alright, nice. We're, we're now a uh, military... Oh shit! Military alliance, but we lost. Uh, we lost Lady Wu. Oh shit! Maybe I shouldn't. Have, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Negotiate. Get a little bit of money from her for this. It actually gets us out of uh, out of financial trouble there. 
All right, so we got at least a non-aggression, though it seems like non-aggression doesn't really mean a whole lot to the AI because these factions in the north that declared war on us, we actually had non-aggression with them, and um, and yeah, they declared war on us. Um, yeah. Propose vote. We can't propose it. It's minus 21. Anyway, hopefully she'll join back. Um, anyway, it doesn't seem that we're too likely to um, go to war with her. Um, well, we could request a support against Gong Sun Zan. But I don't think we're I don't think we're gonna do that. I think we'll we'll be able to handle Gong Sun Zan on our own. Um what do I wanna do here? Let's see if we can trade one of our ancillary. Let's see if we can the elephant. And trade some of this armor here. Find armor. Trade that. Oh shit, I didn't notice the, uh, in the other screen it doesn't say the base armor value. Or maybe I just didn't notice it. Anyway, anyway let's confirm these and see if we can get a little bit of regular payment here from him just to, uh, bump up our income a little bit and this one look at this oh wait there we go 625 a turn that is not bad um, I guess you're, I, I guess the deal, it depends on how much money they have. You see, he's got quite a bit of cash, and it also defend, depends on your relations with them. Anyway, coalition became a military alliance. Alliance formed between Tachi of Shujian. Alright. Brothers in arms. Alright, cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right, good. So we can keep this army in the field. We actually probably could have kept the other army in the field, but um, the uh, the other general in the field. But we'll bring him back at some point, most likely. All right. I, like I said, I want to keep a bit of a, a bit of reserve on, so I don't want to spend too much of this money. I think. We'll try and build it up to like 10k and then try try not to go below 10k. Um Yeah, we just lost Lady Wu. Lady Wu has huge amount of territory. Um I'd say she's probably the biggest in the game right now. Um I'm trying to think if there's anything else I am forgetting. Alright, decrease for favor. Bong Sun Zan, confirm actions. All right, uh, our spy network, undercover network. This guy, I'd love to have another spy. Um, if we could be spying on Gong Sun Zan. See, yeah, now he's got four military. We we had him down to two armies. Now he's got four. Pursue military appointment, falsify marching workers. He's got uh, he's got one hundred out of one hundred cover. And his underwater cover network is thirty-seven out of hundred. Mark poison prevention, infiltrate army, administrator actions, power trade, experience extract spy, build undercover network. For additional Covert relations and assets within the faction, thereby allowing you to bolster your undercover network. 
overall. Let's credit character. Alright, build the undercover network. Action cost, 25 cover. Alright, confirm. In the shadows, your spy sends forth agents to further strengthen their position with new contacts and assets, but activities have not gone unnoticed by the local authorities. Questions are being asked and security is a risk. With considerable resources at its disposal, your undercover network might provide access to safe houses and carriers to help commit. It's going to cost another 27 cover. Go to ground. Cancel. There's too much. Action cost 25. We'll commit. Loses a little bit of cover. Gain per turn 20. So he'll gain that back pretty quick. But hopefully that gives us more um, more information. Now, South South seems well liked by most of the other factions. And these are his commanders. Alright. Has succeeded in developing their undercover network. There is now a web of people with vital connections indebted to our agent. Uh, that's that can be called upon whenever information service is needed. What I would like is to be actually actually able to see into their territory. I was kind of hoping that that's what it would kind of lead to. I was wondering if I should actually send this army north as well. If we should just sort of not worry about the southern defenses right now. Because, I mean, Cao Cao, Cao, Cao he loves us. So I don't think uh, I don't think there's really a whole lot of risk of him attacking us. It's kind of expensive to have an army sitting here. Hmm. I mean, we could always we could always build an army quickly, if need be. Got a lot of armies in our territories. You know what? I think we go all out attack in the north. I'm going to send you here because you get a little bit more replenishment in here. But we'll, we'll send you up to support. You can, you can come this way. But we'll... Um, Alright, anyway. I think we're going to end the turn. Why is... Uh, somebody's unhappy and... Kong Rong's army. By the looks of things. Yeah, we'll go all out attack in the north here and just see if we can just totally crush um, Kong Sun Zan. Say the thing is though, movement is kind of slow in this. It takes a while to get your armies into position, especially you know, especially when you're trying to recover um, casualties or replenish troops. Because um, you jump into force march, you don't get that replenishment, right? But yeah, after we're finished with Gong Soon Zan, I'd like to declare war on uh, on the faction that we were at war with previously there. Um forget his name. Lady Wu. Um Yuan Tan. After we finish with Gong Soon Zan, I'd like to go to war with him again. Alright, so he is definitely on the move there. Move you in regular march. Should be fine, and I think uh, Kong Rong should be able to handle him. Takes a little bit to. Uh... Alright, treasury dropping down a little bit. Alright, we've got a fight on our hands. What? Are, who's uh, leveled up here? Our court official. We don't have anything for him there. Um, yeah, let's let's. Cunning is not really necessary for this guy. This guy is a court attendant, so I feel like the uh, the additional resolve be good for the uh, population growth. We'll go with that.
All right, let's get a let's get a battle going. Take our first territory from old uh, Gong Sun Zan, and this is a territory that they shouldn't have had to begin with. Um, we, um, I don't know what happened, but very early on in the campaign, the settlement just transferred over to them for some reason. What is the, uh, what is the map here? Alright, no problem. Probably they're gonna come out and fight us. It's a pretty big force, 4,000, 4,000 troops in there. It's a big fight. And this army hasn't seen a lot of action yet either, so they're not too experienced. Alright, um, where are our reinforcements coming in from over there? Usually, don't like to attack this head on because you, you end up taking on more of the towers. However, probably we'll have to take those towers on anyway. These towers have a lot of range. Usually, like to set up over here with, with this one is usually, usually what I go with. Though over here, no, this side because we've got these guys here. I'm not sure that's where I want to go. Oh, we don't have the tower here. That kind of sucks. Alright, we'll, we'll figure that out. We'll, we'll move that stuff in a minute. Let's just get into, uh, into formation. Keep you guys over there. Uh, you can stand back here. The artillery here. All right. Um, I don't want you on fire. Well, I'm gonna go. Flaming shot. Um, maybe group one as group two. Just three. And you guys group five. Alright. Oh, and. Yeah, just leave it there. That's fine. Uh... All right, they're staying put. Bring you guys over here. Position you guys there. All right. Um. Let's see if we can take out these towers first with the uh, with the artillery. All right, there we go. One tower, one tower down. That's the way to do it. Probably gonna take these towers out too. It would be nice if actually this fire spread over to those. I we missed that one. This fire, fire spreads and takes out that tower. 
that would be all right. But yeah, it's a pretty big, uh, pretty big garrison force here. All right, hold your fire. Let's move up to here. Guys moved over there. I think we got a couple of kills on some of these guys. Um, they're in good spot for us to uh, to bomb. They're kind of blobbed up there pretty good. But yeah, I'm thinking to take these towers out as well. Because, yeah, we'll most likely... Yeah, we'll most likely be pushing in through here. I mean, most likely... Look at this. Freaking naval boats, but there's no naval warfare. What a ripoff. You guys are still moving. Alright, yeah, you guys stay put where you are. Um, there's a possibility maybe we might come in through the through this area as well, but... We'll see. There's a lot of archers here, actually. I'm kind of hoping that this catches the, uh, the, the building on fire here. Not sure if it will or not. Everything else is catching fire. Um, move up a little bit in the meantime. Yeah, it's just position there though. Don't get too close to those archers. One, two, three, four, five. Five archers in behind there. And then six, seven, eight, nine, nine more there. Is the tower gonna catch? Come on. Yeah, I mean we could send the the cavalry in behind to try and get in behind and take out these archers. But we'd have to uh, send them all the way around. Just wait for our artillery. We'll probably bomb them a little bit before we. Uh, we're beginning the assault. Yeah, so it looks like the um, the fire has run out. Look at the damage it's done. <laughs> Little picnic tables here. All right, let's uh, start bombing again. Oh, damn. oh wait, look at this. Oh shit, I was wrong. I was wrong. It did catch fire. I thought the fire had burned out, so that's good. That saves us uh, a volley or two of, uh, of ammunition. We could actually try and get these out, too. Um, you know what? Hold your fire. Because the, um... This'll, this'll catch... This'll catch... Oh my gosh, look at this. Did this... Something caught on fire here on the ground here and uh, did a ton of damage to those those troopers. Yeah, let this uh, let this burn. And um, let's move up a bit more. Oh my gosh! Look at this! Really went up. I'll catch that that tower on fire. We might as well take out that tower too. Um, just to be consistent. Um, and then we can do some bombing on these guys. I'm just wondering if, um, flaming shot is the way to go, or if we go with, uh, yeah, I feel like, uh, alright, yeah, we'll let our archers do some work here as well. Ah, uh, shit. Uh, go into, uh, turtle formation. Yeah, 
go into turtle formation as well. See, you know what the turtle... Oh my goodness, the uh, the turtle formation, they don't actually... Um, they can still spread out pretty pretty decently. God damn, I haven't been... Uh, I haven't been utilizing that a whole lot. And uh, I could have been. And it's uh, something that's been mentioned in the comments a couple of times, actually. Is the... Uh, the turtle formation. These did these guys stop shooting at us? If we're in uh, total formation. Now, can you guys move? In looks like they can move. I'll put you guys in turtle formation as well. Hit it yet. It's a little bit out of the range, that's why it's kind of, um, again, some fire damage there. There we go. All right, all right. Hold, 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 hold your fire. All right, let's, uh, shoot into this. All right, let's, uh, start preparing our assault here. Oh. Guys, Move up like so. Then you guys get in behind. Uh, let's actually do a little bit, bit of bombing on this guy. This guy will be dangerous. Should maybe hit the archers as well. He's running back into there. So bad we don't have more artillery, uh, more ammunition for the artillery. Really be able to do some damage here. bomb on these dudes over here. And try and take out some of these archers. See, the other thing is, you put them into this formation, and then the problem is the archers don't shoot at them. We take you guys out of that formation. Because we, uh, essentially, we want these guys with shields to absorb the archer fire. Right? We would rather them shoot at the, uh, at the spears than our, uh, our dudes. Shoot at those white horse archers. You guys shoot at the white horse. Fuck. Get those archers. Yeah, we don't seem to be doing a whole lot of damage to their archers, to be perfectly honest. Yeah, I mean, it's important for us, too, to not take a lot of damage here. Um, I mean, I guess that's pretty, fairly obvious. But, we want to be able to keep moving with this army. Oh, 
really having a hard time with these guys here. I'm kind of, I'm half tempted to send the cavalry in behind. Archers, if you don't mind. But yeah, it looks like we're gonna have a fight on our hands, one way or the other. Alright, um. This guy, I don't know if it's because this guy's behind this rock here that we're having so much trouble with him. Are wearing them down. But uh, we're gonna have a bit of a fight on our hands for sure. Let's get out of there. Let's come up here. Uh, they are shooting at the spears now. Did we shoot at them? Yeah, we're gonna have a tough fight on our hands by the looks of things. Yeah, let's bring you guys over here. Cause I might, uh, we might slip in through here. There's quite a bit of swords. One, two, three, four. Quite a few swords left in there too. Yeah, we're definitely going to, uh, we're going to need melee here. Quite a few swords units. And we got these guys as well. We've got a pretty big cavalry. Sorry, my voice just cracked a little bit. Nine cavalry units, but is that going to be enough? I don't know if, uh... Yeah, maybe we'll come in through here and just see what kind of damage we can do. Um, I'm going to send another guy over here. Support there. What are we doing here? I'm at 93. Alright, you two. Come in through there first. Use up the rest of our... Rest of our ammunition. Alright, let's see if we can smash through these guys. I wish um I wish these dudes had um had more abilities, um like they do in uh, in romance mode. Come around this way. Actually, you know what? Let's let's just charge charge these guys. We get into that fight, and you guys fight them. We get, we've got to get in behind these dudes. Um, and I want you guys to shoot into this. Major fight clusterfuck here with the Cav. You guys attack that dude. And. Alright, that's fine. You guys are winning there. You back up. You guys just need to hold there. Let's 
See if we can get some of you guys in behind here and see if we can get to... Oh, shit, I didn't realize there was power there. We need to get to those archers. All right, guys, push forward. Dude's got us blocked off there. Want you guys to shoot into that. And we might bring you up here as well. Get over here and take out those dudes. Get to these archers. Yeah, taking a bit of damage, most definitely. But it was it was a big garrison, so I mean that's to be expected. I don't think the damage is too bad. Right, this guy's getting through. Let me get another guy through. You guys are finishing him off. matter of getting to these swords we need to get in behind them all right don't follow them out uh, one of you make sure they don't come back all right got them finished off all right see if we can see if we can get some of these dudes over here do some charging in behind. Alright, this should be shooting at them now. Maybe not. Alright, looks like uh, just about triggering the army loss here. Looks like they're breaking. All right, I don't, I don't think it's too bad. I mean, if you look at our cav, our cav didn't take too much damage, and they were in the thick of the fighting. Um, the spears took the brunt of our uh, our damage, but I think um, I think overall, I'm pretty happy with the way things went. You know, especially considering the size of the force we're up against. Yeah, not great kill this dude. Oh, it's a different type of archer right there. What kind of archer is this? Territor territorial archers. Maybe we should look at the kills on him. 248. 144. Uh, though actually, it's not too bad on the other ones. Oh my god, 13 Imperial favor we lost. God damn it. That's gonna be the the biggest uh, the biggest hinder hindrance here um, is the imperial favor that we're gonna lose from these these fights. But yeah, looks good. Looks good. Good start to the war with Gong Sun Zan. We've got. Um, Your general is unhappy. Why is my general unhappy? I don't know why he's unhappy. But yeah, we've got Kong Kong wrong. He can cut off these guys. He should be able to take them on on his own, I would think. Um might be kind of tricky, but we could always um always send the cav back to um to support him. And then we push push forward with the two armies. But uh, there we go. We finally took back that territory that uh, rightfully belonged to us in the beginning. And then we're gonna we're gonna bring this army up to help out as well, and just go full out, 
explore everything we've got against this uh, against Gongsun Zan. Try and try and sew up everything in the uh, in the north here. Diplomacy, Zhang Yang, trespassing. They have. Is he uh, enemy's vassal? Oh, he's vassal of Gongsun Zan. So I guess we're at war with him too. Attitude. Gongsun Zan actually doesn't like us too, or, or doesn't mind us too much. These guys way over here don't seem to like us. Look at the size of Lady Wu's empire. That's crazy. Goodness gracious me. Anyway, guys, we are, um, we're out of time for today. Um, we didn't get a, a ton done, but at least we've uh, taken our first steps to battling against Gong Sun Zan. Uh, it's going to be a tough fight for sure. Um, that was just a small army. I'm sure he's got a handful more armies that we're going to have to deal with. But uh, we'll figure that out when uh, the time comes. Thank you very much for watching and have yourselves a wonderful day. Ragnarok signing out.